Hello everyone and welcome to what might be, maybe, possibly, the last episode of Alex's Caves. Now, let me explain what I mean by maybe. So, throughout this series, we have gone through all the different cave biomes and we have done all the achievements that deal with them. We've done some extra special things around here like build the bunker. We, we've done a lot and we're almost done. After we finish the Forlorn Hollows, which is what I plan on doing in today's episode, there's nothing else to do with the mod for now. I know for a fact that in the future, they do plan on actually adding more cave biomes. And I want to be able to play those because I think they're going to be cool. I don't know what they're going to be, honestly, but I think whatever they are, they'll end up being cool. So here's my thought. After this episode, we put a temporary pause on the series. You know, just kind of let people watch what we have so far, not really do anything. When a new cave biome comes out, each, or I guess each time a new cave biome comes out, maybe for the foreseeable future, I don't know, because I think they plan on adding 10 cave biomes total. Every time a new one comes out, we'll make two episodes. One episode will be revolving around any additions that have been added to the previous cave biome, so the next one would be what has been added to the five that we have now in between episodes, because I feel like they'll add more stuff. In fact, I think I know they will. There was a teaser for the primordial caves, and people are speculating that whatever is inside of the amber monolith is going to be like a, n a new mob for that biome, which would be really cool. So we'll have an episode based around that, and then the episode following will be all about the new cave biome that's added, because I want to be able to experience those new cave biomes w without redoing everything that we've already done. I think that kind of makes sense. I think it makes sense, at least. But that would mean, for now, this would be, which I think is episode 12 is what this is, 11 or 12, this would be the last episode for now. Tell me what you guys think about that idea. I think it's a good idea so that we can keep the series going when new cave biomes come out without having to restart every single time. But enough blabbering. For now, we are going to focus today's episode on the Forlorn Hollows. And the main thing that we are going to need is Night Vision Potion because the Forlorn Hollows is pitch black. Fuck, golden carrots. Are you kidding me? Okay, whatever. We can do that. What is this? Gonna be 21 potions? I, I think that's enough. <laughs> I think that's enough. Uh, we need awkward potions, which is nether wart. Okay. Uh, but that means we have to get out of here. I was gonna say, that means we have to go back to the nether and actually get nether wart because I don't have any, which kind of sucks. Hopefully there's still some in the main area. I honestly don't remember if there is or not. Oh my god, never mind, I don't need to go. <gasps> Ooh, run away, run away. Home. Okay, first things first, we gotta make the awkward potions. Then we gotta use golden carrots to make them night vision. And then using redstone, we can extend these potions of night visions to last for eight minutes instead of three. And now with those last three night visions done, we have about three hours of <laughs> Of night vision which hopefully we won't need but in all honesty we probably will and now of course we have to play the spelunkery table mini game demon why demon that should not relate to the biome i don't want it to uh but what was i saying we have to play the mini game obviously because we need to get a cave map that will Hopefully, actually take us to where we need to go this time, because that is a very annoying problem that we have had. Oh, thank God. And I think, just to be safe, we're gonna do- we're gonna make two. Because last time we ended up needing to make another one, and I don't want to have to come back here to do that again, because that would suck, and it's really annoying. This one? Oh, thank God. Okay. Ooh, we were down to the- the last little bones there. Vessel. Haha! <laughs> Didn't even have to look. I'm just that good. Okay, we need more uh, paper. But then we can turn the two compendiums into cave maps and beg for ev to every god that this works. Because if it doesn't, I'm gonna be so mad. Please. Work. Take me to the actual biome, I beg of you. Oh. Oh, actual thing. Oh my god. Okay, and we're facing the direction of it already. Um, 
this way? Have I been this? Uh, is there anything this way that I can, like, use? Like, uh, like a... Uh, damn it, it doesn't look like it. You know what? We're just gonna kind of teleport around a, l <laughs> a little bit. Uh, and then see if this, that took us further away. And Mungus Land isn't gonna take us anywhere. Uh, okay, well, it looks like we're about to go on a very long journey. It's taking us to the Rocky Rainforest. So there's, like, actually a possibility that it's just here. That would be so cool. That would be so incredibly nice if it's in a place that I've already been before. And also for the first time ever, I think I'm going into the biome with enough food to, like, last me. Which I haven't done before, which is kind of sad. But hey, there's a first time for everything, you know? Oh, I hope this biome is big enough because I've had experiences where I was like testing out the mod when I was still doing mini mod reviews where the forlorn hollow was like really small, which wasn't great. So I'd prefer it if this entire episode wouldn't take part in just one tiny little cave. That would be very cool. Honestly, I'll never get over how cool the cave biome map like looks in this mod. It's the most unique map I've probably ever seen in this game and i think it's so smart it's so smart that it like tells you the name of the biomes in for the map instead of just being like a blank thing until you get there i think i don't, I don't know it, i just think it's so cool i think everything in this mod is so cool so like there the bar is low i think lots of things are cool <laughs> so it's not that hard to impress me oh we are moving we are on the map and we are moving. That is the best thing I could have seen all day. Now we just need to move in the inside of the map instead of just around the border because then we'll be there. This journey is uh, turning out to be a lot longer than I thought it would be, which is fine. It's okay. It just means if we don't find the biome and we use a new map, there's a better chance of that map being the real map. Whoa, that's so cool. They get all snowy when it snows. That's awesome. Every detail of that mod is so good. I love it so much. Oh, no wonder the landscape is loading in so slow. I stumbled across... Fuck. I stumbled across an abyssal chasm. How fucking stupid is that? It took me so long to find this one down here. And I just fucking stumble across one out here. What a glorious day. This is super awesome. I was so confused. I was like, why is my landscape loading in so incredibly slow? And I forgot that this biome takes forever to generate. But that's, that's cool. That's cool, I guess. Hopefully now that we get out of here, the, the things will start loading in faster. I'm pretty sure this is the second time that I've just stumbled into a cave biome. The first time was I accidentally came across the toxic caves while I was looking for the magnetic caves, question mark, I think. And now, even though I've already discovered the abyssal chasm, I ran into it, which is cool. Yeah, the landscape is like actually loading around me now. That's great. Oh, I'm starting to see jungle. Oh, this has to be it. Please, I really, really don't want to have to go another 5,000 blocks at all, because that would really suck. We've already, this has already been an insanely long journey, and I'd prefer it if it wasn't any longer than it needs to be. Oh, okay, that's just a magnetic cave. That's, <gasps> no, no, oh, I beg of you, run away. Oh. That was really scary. Okay, what was I saying? Uh, that's just straight up a fucking magnetic cave in the side of this volcano. Okay, cool. That's two cave biomes we run into now on the way to finding the Forlorn Hollows. Yay. I have to be cl I'm in the biome. I'm in the biome. Let's fucking go. Oh, no. Oh, I just made a really... Oh, please, no. Please. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do down we're gonna dig down oh my god no 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 fucking way it took us to a magnetic cave are you joking me right now oh my god this is this is so awful well it's a good thing i made a second map like i knew that i should have because this is so fucking stupid this is so incredibly stupid 
Okay, we're gonna do this one, and we're gonna hope that it takes us somewhere else. Cause if it doesn't, then we got to go home, and we have to make new maps, and I don't really want to do that. It'll be okay. Okay, thank God, it's taking us somewhere else. Oh, that's really fucking small. Where is it though? What direction? This direction. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm gonna put this here for now. Uh, we're gonna go to the mountain village that we found. Yeah, this is probably way closer. Um, okay, we're gonna go, uh, yeah, no, that's what we're gonna do. Take this, teleport to the mountain village, like this, and go and find this Forlorn Hollow. What's really gonna suck is if this Forlorn Hollow's map is wrong, too. Then I'll probably cry a little. Only a little, though. I'll be fine, maybe. I don't know, probably not. Oh, I'm being chased. That's cool. Oh, no way! <laughs> guys, guys. He was number one. New hat. Wearing this forever now. Uh, it's a shame this is the last episode. Okay, I'm gonna ignore the fact that that is the second abyssal chasm we have come across today and keep going. As you can tell by the tone of my voice, I'm very happy that we keep finding all of these brand new cave biomes to explore. Ha ha ha! Especially considering the fact that the one cave biome we actually needed, its map, led us to a different one! That was a silly blunder, don't you think? <gasps> a waystone! Give me that, thank you. That's one good thing so far on this treacherously annoying journey. Oh man, another waystone! This is just like the last time where we found a million, and now we got three. Hopefully our luck shifts and we start to move at the, on the map at all. Because as much fun as the cave biomes are, actually getting to them sucks a lot. But like, I'm not, com I mean, okay, I am complaining, but I'm not complaining. Because like, that's kind of like the reason, they're like super rare for like a reason. Like that's the point of the mod. There's these like crazy cave biomes that you have to go like super out of your way to explore. Which I think is really cool. Okay, we're at snowy biome please for the love of god be close oh thank god we're moving oh my god okay uh i'm gonna i'm gonna go this direction now because i feel like i we're we have to be close like there's no way we're not oh my god we're moving we made it holy crap okay oh and we actually made it i can already see on my map think f wait it might be dripstone cavern hold on hold on let's not get excited Oh yeah, baby, that's the right thing. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that's uh, incredibly dark. Okay, we're gonna waystone here. Go back home to drop some stuff off. And also sleep, of course. And then we can drink our night vision potion and go. Oh, what the fuck are you? Owie, that didn't do that much damage. Oh, uh, gauntlet. Get him. Get- oh, stop flying in circles, please. Oh, are you gonna- Oh, oh, they're really easy to kill. Oh, okay. So you, uh, die. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Holy frick balls, guys. Look at this place. It's huge! Oh my god! Okay, um, we have the way- the waystone. I should probably leave that one while we get down to where we need to be. Okay, let's look through these achievements. Slay a corrodent, a hideous tunneling rodent. Gather some guano. Mm, okay, so for those of you who don't know what guano is, um, it's bat shit. Like, there's there's <laughs> there's no way around it. It's bat shit. Hey, can you go away? What are you? An underzella. Oh, where did he go? Oh, wait, what did I get? I got oh guano. That's the thing I needed. Holy wow, that's a lot of things. Okay, so slay a glue moth. Fun. I don't know where the, the glue moth is. Maybe we'll be able to see one when we, like, venture in. Oh, there's one. Die. Please stop going. Oh, die. Stop being so far away and just die. Well, I need my elytra. Because that's probably the best way to get down. <gasps> you! I need to kill you! Die! Owie! Oh, they burrow. Hello. Oh! Oh! That was easy. Okay. Okay. Um, um, tooth. We got tooth. What is this used in? Burrowing arrows. 
Oh, shoot. Those are the ones that, like, they chew through blocks. That's sick as fuck. Okay, uh, let's go back home and get, <laughs> and get our elytra so that we can actually, like, go down into the, the place. I think I'm going to leave this waystone here so we'll have forlorn hollows and forlorn hollows all the way down. That makes sense, right? Ooh! Down we go. Holy shoot, this place is huge. Oh my god. Oh, there's so many things. Ah! Oh no, I didn't mean to place that one. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. Holy crap. Um, okay. So, we got it. We got it down. It doesn't have a name. And that's fine. Please, nothing be here. Okay, okay. Forlorn down. Yeah, okay. So we get the Forlorn Hollows and the Forlorn Down. Okay, and it looks like this Forlorn Hollows is actually pretty large. Which is good. Okay. Gloom Moth, where ya be, bro? I know, I saw you. I saw some of you. Never mind. <gasps> Gloom Moth! Pew! There. What the fuck was that? What was that? What am I hearing? I hate the noises that I'm hear- Oh, it's you. I still- Whoa! Fuck, that scared me. The noises are very not cool. Uh, let's get at- Wait, where, where am I? Oh, this way. Whoa, wait. Little base bunker. Ooh, I need this for a thing. Is there more up here, possibly? Nope. Okay. I'm glad that the thing- Oh my god. I'm glad that the things down here don't take too much to- kill oh but there's so many of them okay i need to uh look at achievements what do we need to do uh we need to craft a mothball which can keep glue moths away from light sources craft a burrowing arrow okay how mothball like this possibly no how mothball oh guano and string we have guano but i don't think i have string here i know i have some at home so it's two string, a moth dust, and the guano makes a mothball. But we also need to use the teeth and sticks to make burrowing arrows, which are actually very cool. Hold on, I'm gonna get a bow so I can demonstrate how these work to you. Because they're very cool. I actually like them a lot. Okay, so, so, let's say we shoot it at this wall. It eats through blocks. How cool is that? Oh, not that's not cool. Oh, there's so many of them. Okay, okay. We need to start doing stuff. Um, what did I need? I needed... Okay, I need more of the little dudes. I need more of the little underzealots. I think that's what they're called. Because we need to kill a bunch of them. Oh, I almost fell into that lava. We need to kill a bunch of them because they drop a thing that is rare, but I need for an achievement. Oh my god, this place is actually huge. Way bigger than I thought. Oh my god. I might need my, uh, what's it called? My, my mob lasso. Because the way that I have, so there's a couple mobs that I have to kill. That the way that I actually do it is by getting the little underzealot dudes to perform like a ritual on them and but they have to like get close enough for that to for that to happen which might be kind of kind of hard to just pull off naturally let's get back to doing our thing what did we what do we need we needed to kill a bunch of the little underzealots to get the the thing the knife the knife so there appear to be a very large number of you and a very small number of me one uh go away please thank you because I literally can't do anything while you're chasing me. Okay. Bam, ba da 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 way stone home. Okay, we need torches. I think torches is gonna be our savior here. Be do I have torches in my backpack? No, thank god. Uh, I have in my inventory. <laughs> okay, torches are gonna be my savior here, I think. Because if we go back and if we put a torch down... It doesn't look like anything to me because I have uh, night vision, but I'm pretty sure the things in this biome just don't like light and will, like, go to it. Specifically, the glue moths. And the glue moths we need combined with underzealots in order 
to actually start to, like, summon in some of the more crazy mobs in this biome. Let's test this out. If I put this down, is the glue moth gonna come over? It looks... looks like it. Ooh, yes. Okay, okay, that is the best news I have heard all minute. Now, underzealots. They're over here. I can see them on my map. Maybe I can attract them over to here so we can moth them? I need all of you. Come on, buddies, you can do it. Come over here. Look, guys, glue moths. Catch them if you can. I'm pretty sure it's groups of three, so come on. Catch it. Oh my god, please. Please. Uh, oh my god, cooperate. Okay, there's literally five of you, which I know is more than enough. Unless they really need six. In that case, there's more over here. Let's grab one. Oh, they're doing it. Oh shit, they're doing it. Oh shit, that's bad. Kill it, 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 please. Oh, that was a lot easier to kill than I thought. Still run? Hey guys, there's more glue mods. Do it again, please. They're doing it again. They're doing it again. Oh, it's the knife I needed. Please die. Oh my god, I hate these things so much. Oh, I don't think they have enough to do the thing now. Well, that sucks. Which is the desolate dagger do? I don't even know. Let's go get more underzealots from somewhere. There's some over here. Oh, they're doing it. They're finally doing it. Oh my god. Oh, they're not. What the fuck? I got pranked. Oh, now there's two of them ready to perform rituals. Nice. Oh, yes. Yes. Perform a ritual, why don't ya? We gotta kill this thing quick, too. Oh. 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 Oh, shit. What's happening? I can't. I can't. I'm not doing anything. Ah! Oh. No. Oh, I got it. Oh, I hate that it makes noises like uh, like a like a clicker. Hey guys, there's even more glue moths now. Go perform another ritual. Guys, come here. Look, something a sac a sacrifice. Do something with it, please. Oh, oh, oh! It worked. I was just too far away to see the thing. Oh no! Oh no! Die. Okay. Oh my God, we got all the occult gems that we need. <gasps> Now we just need to get a fucking Vesper into this thing. Actually, um, where's my Waystone? I want to go home and, and try and do the stuff with the thing. Oh, my God. I really wish that I could talk without getting fucking killed. Um, I want to go home. I know I'm going to need some of this, or at least I think I will. Go, please, 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 please. Home. Oh, my God. God, that man actually kind of sucks. Like, it's cool. It's really cool to look at. The mobs are really well done. The ritual is a really cool idea. But, oh my god, it is so painfully boring to just sit there and watch them do the thing. And everything else just attacks you. It's so painful. Okay, but what do we need these for? We need them. How do we get these? How do we... Oh, we have one. How many total are we going to need? Five total? Uh, let's... Uh, let's go back, I guess, and, and uh, get some. Because I think they just grow off of the sides of the trees that are down here. Atmospherically, when it's, like, dark and stuff in this biome... Yeah, okay, here's the, the things that we need. Wait, I broke it. Oh, you have to, like, break the wood that it's touching. Okay, what was I saying? Atmospherically? This biome is sick as fuck. But actually going through it is really, really hard. <laughs> it's really hard. It's a lot of, like, hoping that they, like, do what you want them to. And I'm pretty sure I'm out of food. Nice. Okay. Well, it's a good thing that we found a mountain village that has chests that we have not looted yet. Let's grab all the uh, food from in here real quick. And then we can go back home and start to craft the first set of things from the moth. I mean, from the cave biome. I'm pretty sure the first thing is this, the beholder. No idea what it does, but that's okay. Use a beholder to observe a location from over a thousand blocks away. I don't know what that means, but that's cool. Wait, hold on, can we place these down? What, what else are these used in? 
Forsaken Idol. Wait a minute. If we go back to Forlorn Down, oh, we need to see. And then Forsaken Idol. Okay. If we click this, I don't I don't know how this thing works. No, I'm going to do other stuff first and then fi and then figure it out. So the next thing we can make is this moth thing like this the totem of possession i put a spell on you and then this thing um lets you temporarily control a monster of your choosing use a beholder to observe a location for thousand blocks i don't know how to do that that is the problem maybe i will look it up and find out wait i figured it out and i was kind of correct we do need the occult gems we do i was right about that but the way that the beholder works is let's go to the forlorn hollows why not let's go here put it down if we click it with an occult gem now this is bound to that and if we click it we can look look it's us oh, i can't i can't zoom in but that's so cool so now if we go home and and do that oh that was laggy but we get an achievement i spy isn't that's another achievement already, isn't it? I feel like that's already a thing. Who cares? Not me. But now, <laughs> with those done, that moves us on to the Forsaken. Which is gonna be re really, really hard to g get. Because we have to get the little mole dudes to grab one of the bats. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. So real quick, for the rest of the stuff that we're gonna need, or at least the stuff that requires uh what is it these pure darkness these are drop oh wait it drops seven? <gasps> oh my god that's guaranteed what we need we only have to fight it once oh this is incredible because we need that because we need 14 shadow silk four seven and then another seven that makes 14 oh my fucking god we need eight and knowing my luck it's gonna give us seven this is so cool okay Either way, we only need to hopefully, f the most we need to fight it is twice. And I think I can live with that. It, it's going to be really hard to get this to even happen. I don't know. We got this. Follow me, Vesper. Oh, oh, too many things. We're going to go to the, this, this one. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm not actually that far away from where I was, but even still... We're far enough away. Yeah, and here's our little crevice. Okay. Are right, you little fucking fucking fucks? Please, get the Vesper. Catch him. Oh my god, there's five. There's six. There's seven. What? And there's home. Wow, okay. This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought it would. Hmm, and I also lied. I'm pretty much guaranteed gonna have to do it twice. Because we need 12. We need, we need 12 total pure darkness and uh, oh my god we, uh, uh, knowing my luck we're not gonna get that so that's cool i'm gonna move my waystone into the little area that i've been doing literally everything in and then uh let's attract some some things no oh yes no way they caught it holy shit they got it Oh god, this thing is gonna suck to fight though. Oh shit. I'm gonna be up and far away. Oh, it sees me. Oh boy. Oh, it jump. <laughs> oh, not far enough. Oh, it's in its second form. Okay, that means we're close. <gasps> oh shit. Oh, fuck. That was totally on me. Oh, it's so low. Come on. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm dead. I have half a heart. One heart. Yep. And it's gonna be gone by the time we get back, too. So. Oh, it's not. And that's arguably worse because I can't see anything. I can still hear it. There he is. Oh, awesome. It regains health. Oh, this is so sucky. Okay, I should... Mm, what should I do? Do I have... Diamond armor. Prot 3. Sure. Blast prot 4. Unbreaking 3. Meh. Ooh, prot 4. Okay. Fire prot 2. And a diamond sword. Do we have torch? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. 
Maybe it won't have regained too much health. This is super fun, by the way, just so you guys know. Oh my god, this is so awesome. I'm never going to get my stuff back at this rate. I'm... I don't know what to do. I genuinely have no fucking idea what to do. Hey, man. Stop. I said stop. Nope. Okay. I don't know what to do. I really do not know what to do. Because every time I go is insta-death. It's regaining its health, which is not what we want, but you know. This, I don't... Oh my god, I'm gonna scream. I am going to scream. This is the worst. This is cool. This is cool. I love not being able to move. It's my personal favorite thing. Attract it away. Attract it away. Attract it away. Good, 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 good. I just have to keep going and hope it despawns. It was so close to dying. So close. And then the oh, the sonic freaking blast, like the stupid warden. Collect, 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 collect. Click, 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 click. Oh my god. Oh my god. So what I'm doing right now is the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. But it's okay. It's fine, because I am going to get a different result one of these times. Ah, uh, yes. Not this time, though. Oh, no! 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 Stop! Hey, underzealots, fuck off, please. I need to- Stop! Stop! Oh my god, I can't afford to have two of these fucking things, because then I'm never going to get my shit back, and I'm going to end the episode right now out of anger, and the series is genuinely going to be over, and if any other cave bombs come out in the future, we won't continue the series. We'll do something else. Please. Home. Oh! Oh my god, we actually got some of our stuff. Oh my god, we got some out of there. <gasps> yes! Including our sword and like most of our arbor and our hat and our warp stone. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Wait, where did everything go? Huh? Everything's gone. Holy shit. Everything's gone. I... <laughs> we get a second fucking chance. Oh my god. I cannot express how incredible this is. I'm shaking. Oh my god. Gra ugh, grabbing things. Oh my god. Come on. Give me stuff. Give me my give me my stuff. Okay, I don't have my food yet, which is kind of bad. Oh wait, we have uh, chicken dinosaurs. Uh, we're good. Wow. <laughs> Look at the fucking feed. Look at the chat. Okay, I'm a little calmer now. Episode's not ending here. That's always good. I genuinely don't know where everything went because it kind of disappeared right in front of my eyes i think my food is gone which kind of sucks um at least if it's not i don't know where it is yeah the bread is gone i think but in i'm gonna be so honest i don't fucking care wait hold on yeah okay no bread uh we do have our warp stone though Okay, I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff away, unless I accidentally... Nope. Okay. I really probably should get some more food, though. That isn't, uh, chicken tenders. Chicken nuggets. I just need to survive. Okay. So, now we just gotta do that again, but not that. But we need to just get the thing to spawn back in, and we need to kill it and not die this time. <laughs> Holy crap, they already caught one. <laughs> Uh-oh. We are not going to make the same mistakes this time. And I'm going home to get healed and sleep. Oh, it straight up despawns now. Oh, I see. Okay, so my go home to run away technique doesn't, uh, doesn't work as much as I wanted it to now. Oh, yes, I'm off. The thing that I didn't need, and it's dead now. Haha. <laughs> Oh, Vesper, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a poem for it so it comes out. Oh, Vesper, oh, Ves, oh, 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 <laughs> never mind. <laughs> oh, they got it. Oh, yes. Okay. I know what I'm doing this time. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, this is a really bad idea. <gasps> I'm scared. I'm really scared. Slow and steady. Okay, really slow and really steady. No, no, no. Shoot! Oh, I totally realized we just wasted it again. Cause, uh, watch this. Yippee, it's gone. Oh, no, it's not. Ooh! 
No, you may not make that. <laughs> Wait, I just got an idea. Wait, I just got an idea. Where is it? Where is it? Fuck, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ooh! Come here, sir! Oh, it has to be below 125 health! Kill it before it kills me. That's the plan. Oh my god, it might work. Oh, it worked! Holy fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe that worked! We only got eight pure darkness, but I'm... I... I cannot believe that that worked. That was terrifying, to say the least. Before we go back, uh, I want to do some of the the things that like go along with that boss being beaten. We need to make shadow silk, which we had enough for to make all the shadow silk that we need. And this is used for three things: the hood of darkness. The Cloak of Darkness, which that's an achievement finished, and the Dread Bow. The Dread Bow is really cool. I will show you what it does. And I'm, this this is the last one. Eat a Darkened Apple while it... Wait. Eat a Darkened Apple while the Darkness Incarnate effect is at... What is Darkness Incarnate? How do we get... What is that? First of all, uh, let's take a look. Oh my goodness. This looks crazy. Hold on. What? Oh, wait, we get a thing. Look, there's a little thing in the bottom of our, uh, our of our thing. But I think we need to, we're going to wait to do anything with that until we get that apple. But the dread bow, I wanted to show that first. So if we go outside and find an unsuspecting creature. First of all, this thing looks fucking awesome. But if we walk up to some unsuspecting little creature, like there's a zombie on the horizon, I think. No, it's underground, but there's pigs up here. Watch this. Oh, hello, little pig. Goodbye, little pig. <laughs> oh, this thing's so cool. That's so cool. Look at that. Oh my god, and it even has its own custom animation for, like, pulling the bow out. Wow. Okay. This is so cool. I know that I was, like, really mad at this biome, and I was like, oh, this biome sucks. But it doesn't. I just have skill issue, and I'm bad. But speaking of skill, oh fuck, speaking of skill issue, we have to kill that thing one more time. Hopefully, it won't be that bad this time. I, I can't say I know what I'm doing, because I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did last time, and just kind of fucking go for it and hope that I kill it. Because <laughs> that's what I did last time. I mean, it worked. I... Really didn't, it, I did not expect just kind of clicking at it and shooting my camera around to work. But it did. So, let's do it again. <gasps> they got one. Now I gotta kill these guys before they spawn it in. So that I don't have to do the, the, the craziest of fights. Alright. Shit, shit, shit. Don't you, fuck, dude. We are going home. We are going home and hoping that it didn't despawn. I think that it might have despawned. God fucking damn it. It did. I need to stop doing that. Oh, I should have... Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I should have just teleported over there. There we go. Why is it not doing anything? It's not working. <laughs> the noise. The fucking noise it's making. That's crazy. Oh my god, please. There we go. Fuck. Okay, we got this. We have chicken dinosaurs. Night vision potions. I'm gonna get you, buddy. I'm gonna get you. Come on, you gotta, you gotta be dead now. Oh, I got it. Holy shit. Oh my god. That was so much easier, and also I'm not dead this time. And there's the darkness. Run, run, run. We did it. Oh my god. Okay, okay, we did. Ah, go away. Holy crap. Oh, and it gave us eight again. Okay, okay. Ah, this is so good. Okay, this means that we're almost done. Uh, do we have apple? You have an apple. Okay, dark apple, darkened apple. I'm gonna make a couple, because I think we, I, we only need one, but I'm not sure how this works. Eat a darkened apple while the darkness incarnate effect is active to extend its duration. I don't know what that means, but I think we'll find out. I'm going to leave the basement because the last time I tried something new down there, I destroyed half of it. Maybe we go up here. Maybe it's a mob killing weapon thing? I don't know. It looks like it's almost ready. Do we have to not be moving for it to charge? 
Oh, wait, do we have to be in the dark? Or, like, out of sunlight? <gasps> yes, okay. I think it's fully charged now. Oh, now it's fully charged. Okay. Let's go down to the forlorn hollow. And how do I activate? Is there, like, a, a key bind for it or something? Alex's cave special ability G. Okay. G. Ooh. Uh, eat the apple. Make it longer. Yes. This is so cool. What the fuck? Oh, my God. I'm flying. <laughs> Wait, that's so cool. How long does that last? Whoa, this lasts for a long time. I don't think things will attack me either. Oh, no, they still do. Oh, that's a lot of vespers. Okay, well, at least I can fly away very quickly now. Whoa. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Oh, and then it gives me slow falling. How sweet of it. Well, we did it. Hey, I'm trying to be cool here, okay? Leaving, leaving, leaving. Please don't kill me. Home. We did it. Oh my god. We went through and did every single achievement in this mod. <laughs> that was a lot of achievements. Um, I still think that the worst. I still think it is Dinosaur Train. Dinosaur Train made me want to pull my hair out. Close second. Forsaken is a close second. Because that also was really hard and really random chance. But we did it. <laughs> We completed every achievement. I did what I wanted to do. Wow, that's great. Okay, I thought it would take me less time, but I guess I'm just bad. I'm gonna put these on because, like, this is, like, super cool looking. And this is just my new cosmetic armor for now. Let's put everything away, too. I don't like how cluttered my inventory is. It's making me uncomfortable. I need my Galena gauntlet. Give me that. But with that, we did it. We completed Alex's Caves. Every single achievement done. There's like 50-something. Now, there's got to be more than that. Hold on. I'm going to count. Over 100 achievements. Oh, my God. I thought that was a lot less. No wonder it took me so long. But I'm really happy. This was so much fun. This is hands down one of my favorite mods of all time now. There is no question about it. Every single thing as annoying as some of them were, was so cool. Visually, conceptually, doing it is cool. I don't, I don't know. It's just such a good mod. But like I said at the beginning of this video, I don't think that this is going to be goodbye for this series. It might not be for a while because the mod just came out like a month and a half ago, but I do want to continue this as new cave biomes come out. I know, actually, I don't know anything for a fact. I don't know when a next cave biome is going to be. But whenever the next cave biome is, there'll be one or two more episodes of this series. This is a series that I think would be really fun to continue doing. Like, have, I know there's going to be a pretty long break in between this episode and the next one. Because I don't know when the next cave biome is coming. But I do think that it will be cool to experience it in survival like this, in this world again, like I have with all the other ones, so that we don't have to necessarily restart, and we'll be able to explore it to its fullest, because that's all we're going to be doing. But with that, I do think that for now, I'm going to end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. This series has been so much fun. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe as it really does help out. And I'll see you all in the next one, whenever that might be. But weekly uploads are still going to happen. Bye!